Hey you guys, I'm here back again with another afternoon drawing video. In this channel I make videos about my drawings and I like to share my experience with you. This time I decided to draw a human figure. First thing to focus on are the two major parts of the human body, the torso and the pelvis. I'm trying to find some sort of relationship between these two parts by drawing them as two separate boxes. Also while I'm trying to find that relationship, at the same time I'm interested in the gesture and the position of the model. Also another thing that will help me to understand movement is the supporting leg. Now in my case I'm drawing both legs because they both support the upper body equally. After that I'm finding the general position of the head and the movement of the arms. The general idea of the model is drawn but it's still pretty schematic. At this point I'd like to advance a bit further by finding the rib cage. Its shape will allow me to think more in volumetric forms rather than simple shapes. While I'm refining the position of the pelvis, it is important to find the two hip bones. But first I'm redrawing the pelvis box since I had it drawn too low at the beginning. Now finding the hip bones and the pubic bone will give me a better sense of the volume of the entire pelvis. Now I'm working back at the rib cage, but this time I want to find where the collar bones are joined together at the bottom of the neck. In this way it will be easier for me to find the beginning of the arm, since the arm is connected to the collar bone and the collar bone to the torso. Depending on the complexity of the position of the model, collar bones might not be symmetric. After securing the position of both pelvis and torso, I'm connecting them together. The muscle that connects them on the left side is stretched as the body is slightly tilted toward the right side. I like to refine the outline at this point. But I want to recheck the body proportions once more before I go ahead with refinements. As you can see I found the legs are both way too long and I have to adjust them to the proper height. That's why I usually do not rush with further refinements before I'm convinced that all the parts work nicely together. Once I fix this problem, I realize that the pubic bone is too low and I have to fix that too, which also made me rearrange the collar bone position as well. This process needs patience and some measurements because it's the last chance where I deal with structure and proportions. Now I'm drawing the outline, but at the same time defining the shape of the smaller body parts. While I'm drawing the clothing, I do not need to think too much about the proportions since I resolved this issue beforehand when I drew the torso. Right now I'm more concerned with texture folds and the major tone values at this point. The texture folds at the pelvis area are very important since they dictate the half-seated position of the model. Now I will let you watch the rest of the video as I'm advancing with the shading. 